Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Well, excuse me, I'm talking a little bit quietly this morning because Michelle's just above us in bed. She's not got up this morning, so it's just me and you, good, you, you good, good people of YouTube. Anyway, Tuesday morning, coffee got, usual start today. I'm about to watch a bit of news. A little bit later than normal because I don't need to get up as early because I'm not sharing a car. Get ready to go to my work and speak to you shortly. Okay guys, that's time for me itself to work. I've had my coffee. Now the news today is all about home ownership. Home ownership. Apologise for the accent. It's been falling to its lowest level since 19, the 1980s. More people are now renting than they are than buying houses. It's uh, going back to the days of Thatcher. Uh, read into that what you will. And also other news. The Russian athletes will find out today who will be allowed to compete in the uh, Olympic Games. The opening ceremony is on Friday night, so it's about time they find out. And it's showing that home ownership in England has dropped 7% and 14.5% in Greater Manchester and 13.5% in Outer London. Well, that's enough from me. Time for me to set out to work now. Speak to you shortly. Other news today as well. High Court will rule whether the NHS or local authorities, excuse me, <coughs> will bear the cost of issuing a pill to everybody to protect against HIV uh, infection. Now, I don't know if that's to roll it out to everybody in the country or just people at risk, because that's the first time I've ever heard of it. But, yeah, moving on. Speak to you shortly. Okay, guys, because we're setting out a little bit later, I had time to make my breakfast. So, not my breakfast, my lunch. Two sandwich things, two tangerine orangey things, a banana, orange juice from the weekend, coffee. Let's get on. Okay, guys, that's me at my work now. Bit of news on the radio up there, just saying that the Bank of England is considering, possibly considering cutting interest rates, and they're basing that on the figures from industry, from the actual manufacturing industry and um, for those of you who don't know them our manufacturing industry accounts for approximately 10 percent of our economy which is a lot less than i thought it was but it means you've got room to grow anyway moving on a reduction might a reduction in interest rates will be good for uh, for mortgage owners mortgage uh, sorry house owners with, with mortgages like myself and michelle so yeah every cloud Moving on. Good morning. It's nine o'clock and I am up. Alan has already gotten up and gone to work. I was intending on getting up and being awake with him uh, before he left for the day, but I didn't get to sleep until two this morning, so that put paid to that. So I'm going to have some coffee, try and turn myself into something resembling a human being, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do today. Okay, so I've drunk some coffee and I have put on a cardigan and some slippers because it's freezing in here. Don't know whether it's just me or whether it is actually cold, not entirely sure. And for the second day running, the doorbell has scared the living daylights out of me because there is another package. I know what it is, but we'll find out later uh, when Alan opens it. So, what have I done this morning? I have watched a couple of episodes of How It's Made. I have tidied up the kitchen, put the last load of washing in the dryer, loaded the dishwasher, or sorry, emptied the dishwasher and put the dishes away and then reloaded it with the stuff from yesterday. Um, and generally done a bit of picking up around the house trying to keep myself busy. I'm a bit anxious about the fact the doctor's calling me today. Uh, I've spoken to Amy, she called and scared the living daylights out of me as well because I didn't know the number so I didn't answer it but she messaged me and told me it was her so that was all good. So now I am going to make myself some lunch, watch a bit more TV and then I'll probably tackle the ironing and the editing this afternoon. Alan's leaving me with the editing to do as a task um, so I'll be giving that a go again today flying solo because he's not going to be here to help me so that'll be interesting moving on well 
that's the ironing done and now I am on editing yesterday's vlog doctor still hasn't phoned that's 10 to 2 uh, yeah <laughs> Hi guys, that's the working day over with now. Monday, Tuesday out the way. Get through tomorrow, over halfway to the weekend. Yes, got a long weekend coming up as well. Got a, either a Friday or a Monday off, can't make the mind up what to do. But I've got a holiday in. And I've been communicating with Michelle uh, all day. She's a little bit wound up and stressed up because she's sitting at home waiting for the doctor to ring. And as yet, he hasn't rung. It's what, 10 past 5? Now, he did say that he'd ring up in the afternoon, but now it's obviously getting into the evening. So she's just getting herself wound up and wound up and wound up. Uh, waiting for him to ring. So hopefully, he'll ring soon. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hope I'm not coming over the cold. But anyway, I shall get home and see how she's doing. Speak to you shortly. Sweetie, I'm home. Is the doctor still not wrong? No. Oh. anything. So, how are you feeling? Pretty much completely wind myself into a state now. Just waiting for him to ring. No, it's not going to be, it's not a bad phone call you're going to get, though, is it? So. Yeah. You know, they've got to ring in the next 15 minutes anyway because the place shuts. Yeah. So, have you just been sitting here waiting? No, I've done bits. I've, I've vlogged some and done the ironing. I've loaded one load of the dishwasher and tidied up the kitchen. I've done the editing for the rest of the day. And I've sat here and waited. Sorry? And I've sat here and waited. You don't need to worry because they're not doing anything. There's nothing. I've got to worry about it. Oh. Well, yeah. Anyway, with that, we're going to have to come up with some plan of what we're going to do tonight. Yeah. American Gothic. Okay, I'll have to wait till he rings. Okay, guys, Michelle has just received a phone call from doctors now, so she knows what's happening. Um, she's been prescribed some sleeping tablets to assist her to sleep I'm going to reassess oh she's going to be reassessed on Friday so her stress levels are still very very high and she's still wound up so she still needs to be managed down off the, uh, the stress level so because she's been sitting there waiting for the doctor to ring she's obviously got really high high strung and stressed up so I'm going to make tea tonight so Come with me to the chip shop. come all the way down here and they closed the chip shop for refurbishment so plan B other chip shop yeah otherwise plan C will have to come in and I'll have to cook and that is a disaster so onward and back to the other chip shop now I know it's conspiracy the other chip shops closed 
this is disaster. I'm gonna have to go home and cook. Moving on. Okay guys, following on from my disastrous hunter gathering exploits. Come home and made chips, cheese and gravy. To make up from the fact that I went to two chippies and they were both short. One for refurbishment and one just to spite me. I think. And I'm going to enjoy this. Okay guys, as Michelle showed you earlier, we had a package. A package has arrived. So we have an opening. Apparently I'm not to be trusted with knives. I'd have been there for hours. But I got and got an axe all by now. Remind me to put in my eBay feedback that their packaging was incredible. Is it eBay or oh, yeah, it was eBay, wasn't it? Yeah. We've strayed away from Amazon and gone to eBay. Because it was way cheaper on eBay. Okay, we have a theme park backpack. And I think it comes out at the front. And what this is for is for carrying camera equipment. It opens it at the front. Opens at the front. Like yours does. It's the back. Yeah. So the opposite of the front then. What's the front? No, it's not. It's the back. It's the front. <laughs> it's the back. <laughs> Don't. We've had this conversation before. <laughs> Don't argue with crazy people. We're both crazy. There you go. go. Yeah, it opens there so it's secure and people can't get at it and nick it while you're walking down the street. Um, that is there so that I can carry all my uh, GoPro camera equipment about with me. Handy. And it should just be big enough for all the camera equipment that I have. Just in time for our trip on Saturday. Yep. Yep, we shall test that out on Saturday. We've got a road trip on Saturday. We're not going far, but we're going out and about. Memory card slot. I really like the way that the low pro um, rucksacks have the, the bit for your camera equipment and you open it from the back of the rucksack. <laughs> and it's got a big a big carrying bit in yeah the so there'll be enough for a water bottle and um sure. various other bits and bobs like a, a raincoat or something it looks it looks waterproof yeah. is it there's no such thing as a completely waterproof rucksack apparently it's supposed to have a Rain cover. Is it not right on the top? So I'll be right on the top or right on the bottom. Mm, can't see it. Maybe you didn't get one. Maybe you've got to buy it separately. But it's got oh, a big, we'll big pocket in the front there as well, and you've got a water bottle slot here oh. and one there as well. Rain cover on the top or on the bottom. Yeah, that's your rain cover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no such thing as a completely waterproof rucksack because it because of zips and things it, it will leak. 
fucking shower proof, but that'll make it a lot better. That is a really nice box tag. And that was... Is it 20? 20 something, yeah. It's only about, that was about 21 pound from, e on, from, not from, on eBay. It's low pro as well. Maybe the same manufacturer as my, my big one. I mean, obviously my big one is, is too big to, um, to carry about in the parks, but this isn't. Yeah, it's perfect. 16 litre, 16 litre camera bag. And that's what we got for 20, I think it was 21 pound. It's round about that, it's certainly less than 25, wasn't it? And I had free postage from China. From China. So it's obviously a copy, but it's no, good enough for no, me. No, it's the real deal. They're actually made there. Are they? Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. And with that, I will find out my camera equipment and put it in there later. Speak to you later. Moving on. Okay, guys, that's uh, kind of Tuesday over with. Uh, yeah. Are you feeling better? I am now, perhaps the doctor, yeah. Yeah, so. So your plan for the rest of the week is to... Keep going as I'm going. Doctor says there's nothing he or I can do until the acute stress reaction goes away. So, he says if I'm not... Um, if I'm not in a better place by Friday, they'll medicate me. Better blockers is what he's suggesting. But for now, I am... He's going to give me a couple of days worth of sleeping tablets to try and reset my body clock to make me sleep. So uh, Alan will pick those up. Mm. Alan will pick those up for me tomorrow. And if you take them Wednesday night, Thursday night, and the doctor will talk to me on Friday and decide what we're doing about medication and assess my suitability to return to work. So tomorrow I'll just keep on keeping on um i finished a book oh great review and i say i finished a book it was an audio book i can't actually i can't actually sit and read i can't concentrate long enough to read but i put the audio book on and i can clean and hands busy head busy at the same time and it seems to work so i finished the graveyard book by neil gaiman um and it was excellent really excellent yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get through um, American, Gods. American Gods, but I'm having a little bit of an issue because I keep waking up at Chapter 6 and rewinding it and waking up at Chapter 3. Bizarre. So I've not followed it at all. I've heard all the same things over and over again. And not I couldn't tell you what the story is about. It's very good, American Gods. I've, heard, I've listened to that one. Um, Ocean at the end of the lane is my favourite. I thought that was that was absolutely excellent. It's actually just released a new book called um, View for the Cheap Seats, oddly enough. Um, and it's actually a series of short stories, but I've never been a big fan of short story books, so I tend to avoid those. But no, the Graveyard book was, was very good. I, I thoroughly enjoyed uh, listening to it. I should, I should have said, rather than reading it, I did thoroughly enjoy listening to it. So, Carlings? Oh, it's, uh, it's easily a five out of five. Five out of five. Is it? Is yeah, that good? that good. What's it about? Bod. Bod? Bod. Your body? No, bod. You have to listen to it. It's really good. It's about a little boy who grows up in a graveyard. Is it a kid's book or an adult book? I would say it was young adult. It's there's too many adult themes for it to be child, but it's not an adult book. Young adult, yeah, but it's still very good. I mean, so a lot pro probably on the about the age level of Stardust. Yeah, it's it's the same sort of Stardust and Coraline. It's it's all they're all sort of around about that level. Yeah, okay. Very good, very very good. Well, what is me? I haven't read a book all year. Listen to a book all year. Finished a book all year, but it's all right because I've only got six months. I've got six months left, I think. Aren't it? Five months. We're in the eighth month. I've got a few months left. <laughs> anyway, it's getting on now. With that, I'm going to call it for tonight. Uh, Wednesday tomorrow, halfway through the week. 
working day. Uh, Michelle's obviously even from me sitting here. Michelle's a lot happier than she was when I got, than when I got home. She didn't even get really upset when she found out all the chip shops were shut. That was just me because I drove all the way down there and drove all the way back up here and well yeah. Anyway, that I moan. I think I moan too much. So moving on. Uh, so I'll say it's a good night from me. And it's a good night from me. Good night. See you all in the morning.